Welcome in, Wiffle Ball fans, to this elimination game between Who That and the Claw here at a wet silver stadium. Let's take a quick peek at the bracket here, as we're at the very bottom of the loser's bracket. And the winner of this game will take on the Bandits or the Mambas. Loser of this one's going to get eliminated, so both teams are going to be putting it all on the line. Pitch into Reiners is popped up. Haas and Everett on the move. Everett with a great play, one of the best we have seen in this tournament's history. Alex Haas was trailing him there. And speaking of Haas, he's the pitcher in today's game, so let's take a peek at what he's done so far this year. 2-1-1 record in four games for Haas. Pretty good tournament so far compared to the other pitchers. He has struggled with the walks, just as every other pitcher has this year. Peyton Davis is going to come to the plate looking for his first home run of the tournament as that one will bounce up to the plate. And he will wear that one. That is going to sting, but it will bring it to a 3-0 count. And I said pitchers are struggling with walks. There's going to be one by Alex Haas to get the first base runner of the game for Houdat. That will bring Braden Hakimi into the box. He's still looking for his first hit of his career, although he has drawn plenty of walks as he takes ball one there, not even close. And that one's going to bounce up there. Two walks back to back will put him first and second for the captain, Nick Barnes. Nick is one of the pioneers of uh, Houdat's strategy of walking to get on base as he will load them up with a walk right there. Joel Reiners, who popped up to start the game, is going to come to the plate with the bases loaded. He's looking to pick up home run number four on the season. And Reiners will watch that one go right down the middle. I cannot blame him. That's a tough pitch off one of the best pitchers in the FLT. Here comes the pitch from Alex Haas to Braden. Oh, is Braden didn't even think about swinging at that one. Is going to walk in a run and give Houdat the lead. Barnes is going to strike out, end the inning. They leave the bases loaded, but they get one. I don't know if it will be enough against a tough team to pitch to in the form of DeClaw. We're heading to the bottom of the first right after this. And we're here in the bottom of the first, Alex Haas, the pitcher leading it off. He's been one of the best hitters so far this year, as he's one of the best hitters in the FLT overall. That one's not even going to make it to the plate, so Haas will walk down to first place, continuing that trend. That walk was issued by Nick Barnes. He's currently 1-0, but has a tough ERA in the 14 range. He's going to be facing Nick Everett here, another tough hitter with a great 423 average. And he's not going to give him anything to swing at there. And it'll be another walk. Put him first and second no outs for Isaiah Tmeyer, the lefty and the team captain. He's going to let that one bounce up. Tmeyer, a big walk drawer. And that's what we'll see him do there as he air mails the strike zone. Alex Haas is coming back up to the plate with a chance to tie this one back up. Who needs a tie? Haas is going to put four on the board, give his team the lead, and put himself in the win column. Bring them all around. Take your time, guys. It's going to take a while to get that ball back from the bean field. Still no outs here as the claw put a big four on the board off an Alex Haas grand slam. <laughs> Barnes here to Nick Everett and that one will hit high and get the merry-go-round going again. Isaiah Tmeyer now at the plate. Here comes the pitch. High and maybe a little outside. Ball four, first and second for Alex Haas. Will he do it again? Just 
Not a home run, but it's in play. Left field, and it's going to get through the fence for a ground rule double. Great call by our umpire, Paul Willie. It'll score a run. That'll be Haas's fifth RBI of the game. And Nick Everett's going to have second and third here with still zero outs. <laughs> Everett is going to wear that one to make it a 2-0 count. And he's going to pop that one up, and that's more than a pop-up. It's a three-run home run for Nick Everett. He's not going to let Alex Haas have all the fun as he'll pick up three RBIs as he'll take his time rounding the bases as they get that ball back in. T. Myers going to get it started again. Not much he could have done with that one except take the walk. Runner on first. Haas right over the wall. A line drive. And take that seven RBIs on the day for Alex Haas. As he will round the bases, it'll be 10-1. to one As we're getting close to mercy rule territory. However, good news for Houdat, though, is we got to go two innings to get a mercy rule, so they will still have another chance at the plate. Here's the pitch from Nick Barnes. Yikes. <laughs> Not the best pitch, but even he knows that he's laughing about it. T. Meyer sends one deep, and he'll be the third member of DeClaw to hit a home run. Gives his team an 11-run lead, puts him in mercy rule territory. Joel Reiners is going to come in in relief here. It's going to be like a brand new inning for him. Bases loaded and no outs. Reiner's first batter here, Alex Haas, is going to pop one up deep and gone. Alex Haas is tacking on even more to the career game he is having. This one will just be a solo shot thanks to Isaiah Meyer clearing it right before him. And Nick Everett will now be at the plate. Here comes pit from Reiner's the lefty to Nick Everett. Ball four, didn't even hit the goal behind. So that'll put Everett on first base for Isaiah Tmeyer. Tmeyer's going to ground one. Reiner's running it down, and he'll slip in the rocks. They're going to be safe. It'll be first and second here. Still no outs. And ball four to Alex Haas. Load him up for Nick Everett. That'll sneak in just behind the piece of wood. But it'll be ball four no matter what. That'll walk in a run, make it 14-1. T. Meyer pops one up. Hakimi, it'll fall. Reiners will get the out at first because T. Meyer wasn't running for some reason, but the other runners will advance, and that'll score a run. Make it 15-1 to one here with just one out. And strike three, Joel Reiners gets Alex Haas to take the high fastball, and that'll be the second out of the inning. Pitch here from Reiners. Ball four, load the bases back up, although there's two outs this time. Here comes the pitch. 
It's going to be popped up right there. Reiner's on it. He's going to drop it, although Tiemeyer didn't run. Reiner doesn't catch the ball, and he'll get it. As Isaiah Tiemeyer was just jogging to first base for some reason as the nightmare inning will be over for Houdat. They're going to have to score five to extend the game here as we head to the second inning. And not the start. Houdat was looking for one out, two outs, and DeClaw will win this one by mercy rule. But we're going to see a pitching change. Nick Everett's going to come into the game to get some experience. He has pitched four games. This will be his first one this season. Two and two, all these games happened last year, and he had an impressive 2.18 ERA on his way to winning Rookie of the Year last year. He's going to walk the first batter, Braden Hakimi, on that rise ball that almost kisses the ground. Lobbed in to Barnes. He'll pop it up right back to the pitcher, Nick Everett. And Houdat is down to their final out. That one will bounce into Reiners there. Two out count to Joel Reiners in what could be the final at bat of the game. But Joel isn't done just yet. He'll send a two-run shot over the wall, make it 15-3. Although Houdat still needs three runs to avoid the 10-run mercy rule. And Braden's going to hit one right under the outstretched arm of Everett. And he'll fall on first base. That will be his first career hit in what could have eliminated his team if he would have gotten out there. He'll extend the game as the commission is going to come out to get that ball. Keep that one, Braden. Nick Barnes doesn't want to go home either. He'll make it a 10-run game. It'll be 15-5 to here as they're still in Mercy Rule territory, but they only need one run to extend this one. And Alex Haas is going to come back in and try to shut down this game he's in the win column for. It'll back Reiners off the plate there, but it'll be ball four. Get on first base. Hard 90, Joel. Good job. Brayton thought about taking the bat off the shoulder, but instead he'll take ball four, moving the game-extending run up to second. Oh, there's like, there's like five in this book. There's literally five. It's the honey hole. And ball four there to Nick Barnes. The game extending run is now at third base. Reiner's up the middle, off the wall. T Meyer's not going to get it in time, and we will play at least a bottom of the second as Joel Reiner's hits the RBI single. And Hakimi's going to scream one right back to Haas. Not what Houdat wanted. It'll be 15-6 to six, headed to the bottom of the second. DeClaw just need one run to walk off this game with a Mercy Rule win. Alex Haas will take ball four and put the winning run aboard on first base. Nick Everett's going to hit a grounder to the shortstop. Going to get it in. Oh, almost into Joel. He's going to drop it, but that winning run moves up to second no matter whether he makes that catch or not. But it would have been nice for Hudat to get that first out of the inning. Instead, it'll bring Isaiah Tiemeyer to the plate with no outs. Tiemeyer's going to pop it up. Oh, Reiners, what a play as he stumbles into the garage there. That's a web gem nominee right there. Might see that in the top plays after this year's tournament. Yeah. 
And goodbye to that one, and goodbye to who dat. Alex Haas is going to hit a three-run walk-off shot to end this one. Only that first run in the form of Nick Everett's going to matter, and who dat is going to be sent home. They're going to take fifth place in this year's tournament, their best finish in franchise history, and we're going to send it down to Adam Willie with the player of the game. We are back here at FL TV with... Player of the game, Alex Haas, after they 10 run Huda and knocked him out of the playoffs. Alex, what was your approach going to that game as you hit three home runs, including a grand slam? Yeah, uh, I approached to just try to hit the ball hard and just see where it goes, and obviously it worked out. Yep. Now you will play the winner of the Bandits and the Mambas. Yeah. Who do you, is there a team you're wanting to play, and if so, who would that be? Uh, I haven't seen the Bandits play yet, really, and I, we haven't played against them, so I don't, I, I don't really have a preference to who we play. I just try to win. So what was your approach going into that last game as you were looking, facing elimination? Uh, not lose, period. Uh, if we lost, we'd be out, so you just had to win. All right, it's been Player of the Game, Alex Haas, it's Adam Willie from FLTV, signing out. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Adam, can you stop recording that camera? <laughs> yeah.